Hey guys, I want you to meet Cash. He is a 16 year old dark bay quarter horse gelding and he's about 15.1 hands high. He is a rescue from a kill pen and this is Sophie's first ride on Cash. Good morning guys, welcome to today. It is really freezing out today. It's like minus 23 degrees Celsius with the wind chill. And that's really cold. So we've locked up the barn, closed up the barn, all the doors. Done all the stalls. We got the heated water buckets going. The heated water buckets going and everything's ready for tonight. Everything's ready for tonight to put the horses in. It's not too bad right now. In the barn is only minus, minus five in the barn. Yep, we're feeding extra hay today because it's really cold. Horses need more food to keep themselves warm. Yeah, sure, that's a good amount. Tino likes to eat lots of hay, so keep them warm. And, oh, it's bright and sunny out. But don't let that fool you. It is freezing. I'm gonna free, feed the uh, minis. Give them some extra food. I got a few things in the mail today and I'll show you that when we go back to the house. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Sam hopefully told you that it is freezing cold day. Not fit for horses or humans. Even though we're not doing a lot with the horses today because of the cold, Gabby did get some things in the mail that she ordered. What'd you get, Gabby? I didn't order them. Oh, what'd you get? Um. Cool. Uh-oh. Okay. So this goes like that. I need to put this in there. What the heck is it? It's a hoof soaking bag or something. Hoof soaking bag for Chino. Yeah. But it's big. Oh, so it soaks their whole leg. Well, it's for soaking because we always have problems we they like to spill bucket. a bucket and stuff, so I figure this is something like I don't even know why we never bought these before. I know, like I. So if oh. we ever need to soak their foot, we just put their foot in there. Fill just it up wait, with water. show it to Gabby. Show Gabby's because she got hers nice and flat on the bottom. It's like a bucket. Yeah. It's exactly. literally like a bucket. Yeah. So you put them so on. And you put the hoof in there, put that on it, and you put the yeah, water this is and the, uh, in. This is the the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. And then you put the water in the Epsom salt? No, you put no, the, you your put foot in. in there first, then you dump the water. So can it. you cold hose them if it's like below that level? Like say their ankle is swollen, you have yeah. to cold hose. You can put ice in this. Yeah. And water with ice. I so love those. Cold. And then there's these extra straps. And you pull it closed. So you pull the top and, and then there's extra straps if you need that. Wow, straps. I love it. So that is that. I, I don't know why we never bought these before. I know, yeah. that's so dumb. Well, we've never had a horse that's ever got abscesses before, besides Chino, and, and that's only... We got this. Does this uh, come in handy too? But I just got the biggest size. I don't know. I think that's too big. Well, it's either large or extra large. Oh, is that all they have? Large or extra large? Yeah, and this is... This is, is the same this thing? This is like, instead of doing duct tape Protect boot all the time, oh. instead of putting a duct Pulse tape boot on the all good. the time, we just put the poultice and vet wrap it and then we put it in this boot and this is what he uses. To protect instead his... Instead of uh, the duct tape boots that we make all the time. That I make. But how do you know what size they need? Well, there's different sizes, so eventually we're going to have to get one for every horse. But most of our horses don't have a problem. Yeah, so... Chino has a problem most of the time, so this should be his size, right? Well, that looks too big, but yeah. No, it looks like it's the right size. Okay, so these boots, he bought two. I don't know why. He never consults me when he orders stuff. He bought two. It has like a foam bottom in there, which is supposed to be super comfortable for horses so that they will like stand on their hoof when they're being soaked. It's like this thick rubber stuff, and they're really good for like icing a horse, putting ice in, or like cold hosing, you can just put the water in this bag. So I love these. He he bought two, even though you really only need one. Like, um, yeah, but it was, believe it or not, cheaper to buy a pair of two for some reason than to buy one. 
So anyways, we'll put the link in the... Bought them from Amazon, so I'll put a link. I'll put the link in the description box, so if you want to see what it is that he got, or you want to get your own, you can... Um, you can see the you can see what it is in the yeah, they have description different box. colors. They have blue, orange, black. But I thought I like blue, orange. I don't know. And the hoof saver boot. He'll put the link in the description box too. You guys can check it out and tell us what you think. I'm sure you have to measure that. Like I don't think they come in different sizes. So I think we measured, and the chino is just above a large. Oh, I see. So, and then if you got, uh, when you put the poultice on and you put the vet wrap on, it'll be a little bit bigger too. So I think. It's just the top there. See the top where it has to go around the horse's ankle? Like, yeah. See? It get, it's. He has like the skinniest little ankles. Right. Yeah. Maybe I'll get, I mean, the idea is to get like a bunch of different sizes, right? Why? So you have them as a backup if you ever need it. Like that's not, that, that'll probably stay on. Yeah, that might stay on him. Comment below if you've ever used that silker boot or those, uh, or these wraps that go all the way up their legs so that you can cold hose them or soak them. Anyways, we're gonna end today's video because it is it is so cold. Like Sam even fed Sam even fed the horses inside the arena today because the wind is just biting out there, like insane amounts of wind. We have a footage from the other day when we did the taste test challenge with the with the horses. We ended up using the rest of it to do a taste test challenge with our dogs, and so I've been saving that footage for any day that um, we're not able to get out and do stuff. And so I'm gonna share that with you guys. Now. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Stay warm. All right, so we wanted to just do a little video. We just shot a video with our horses to see what kind of human foods they like, and Sophie wants to try it with the dogs. Where did Daisy go? I don't know. Oops. Dead dog! Stomp. Stomp again. Molly, bed. Bed. Come here. Come on. Come on. This is another... Come on, Molly Ruby. This is another way to trick Daisy into coming. Hello. But she's not coming. Oh, here she comes. Yep. Come here. Hello. <laughs> so when your deaf dog doesn't come, you send your other dogs way. to get them. All right. So Go. we're going to try a uh, cantaloupe. Let's see, break it into little pieces, I think. In case somebody gets a bellyache. Ruby, sit. Ruby, sit. Ruby, sit. Ruby, sit. Wow, <laughs> Ruby is so excited over cantaloupe. She never gets like that. Hurry up, go fast. And Daisy, you guys don't know about her, but she is a foodaholic. And she's gone. She goes to her face, she eats anything. <laughs> yeah. All right, so cantaloupe was clearly a huge hit. Don't do watermelon because it said the seeds can be dangerous for them. It can cause a blockage. And we got a uh, seedless watermelon. They but cucumber, right? Yep, yeah, but they have like those little tiny seeds in them like the little white ones that I don't yeah, want to take any cucumbers. chances all right next up cucumbers Good girl make Daisy sit you're still chewing all right cucumbers were big Molly doesn't like cucumbers Molly doesn't like green she doesn't like cucumbers and Daisy's going back to her crate to I eat it. I assume that she's eating. If you guys are wondering where Sam and Gabby are, they are outside pulling the tractor out of the ditch that Sam got it stuck in. Oh, she must have ate it because she's back. So She loves tomatoes. Yeah, she right. does. So tomatoes are okay in moderation for dogs. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> back to her cage. Sit and then, sit. and then throw it to her. Oh, good girl. Can we sit? <laughs> and Molly has played with hers. She thinks it's a ball. She's like, here, Daisy, I'll bring it to you. Is Ruby eating hers? Yeah. Ruby's eating hers. And Molly, She's obviously. Come uh, back in a minute. Daisy clearly likes hers. Let's see. Does she come back? Uh, apple. All right. We're up Thank for you. apple now. Actually, carrot. Oh, she's back. Do you have to cut that? Okay. Ready? You're going to catch it. That was a bad throw. Carrots. Sit. All of our dogs like carrots. They get carrots on a regular basis. Sit. 
And if we don't give them carrots, they steal them out of the barn. Okay, so the only dog that ate the tomato was Daisy, who is a weirdo. She loves tomatoes. Here's apples. Sit. Sit. Oh, no. Oh, she's taking all her things over to the carpet to eat. I know you can't catch them. Uh, make them behave when they take it, please. They're getting awfully excited. Wow! She, she just goes off to her cage. Can I have celery? Let me see. All right, they can eat celery. Oh, look, Daisy went over to Molly's mat to see what she left. Uh-oh, trouble's coming. <laughs> she oh, she took something. something. <laughs> and then Daisy, Molly saw her. Yeah. Molly's like, did you see that? All Can right, so we're at celery now. Where did you go? Uh, nope. Oh, look at there's a whole spew of stuff. Kirby. Somebody didn't eat their cucumber. No, Molly. Molly. Oh, she Gentle. likes it. Gentle. You just spit all over me, Molly. Just wait one second. She'll be back in a minute. Daisy, Molly's still mad. She's what like, you she <laughs> I don't know. She stole something from Molly. It was probably the tomato. She has everything in her crate. <laughs> it's not in her cage. She didn't eat any of it? Well, she has apple. She's eating a tomato. There's also another tomato in her cage, so she stole a tomato from Molly. <laughs> and Mo her cucumber and her melon. <laughs> so Molly, room, Daisy is taking it to her crate for another time. Oh my god. She just wants the stuff to put in her crate. Or to play with. Okay, what else can I have? This? Um, yep. Lettuce is really good for dogs because it's low calorie and if dogs like it, you could use it as a treat. Molly's taking Did it. Did you actually eat it this time? Oh, Molly ate it. Ruby ate it. And Daisy takes it gently back to her. Oh no, she's eating it. She ate it. No, she, no, she left it. She's like, I don't want that one. I'm coming back for something different. Oh, she's eating it. No, she's just <laughs> dropping it on the ground. <laughs> she likes the feel of bite. <laughs> oh my god. Why is she doing that? Let, let's try that again. Just I'm eating the rest of this apple. She just wants to bite it. She's the funniest dog though, honestly. She's such a funny dog. We have to take stuff out of her crate all the time. She, do you remember when she used to go upstairs to your room? She used to sneak upstairs to Sophie's room and steal her toys and then run down and try and hide them and then put them in her cage. And Sophie had to watch her all the time. Yeah. All right, that's it. Did you like it? Did you like doing that, yeah, Molly? Yeah, did too. <laughs> but did the other dogs eat the lettuce? I don't know at this point. <laughs> Do you like the melon? No, you still have that in your cage. All right, well, I think that's it. Oh, do you want another tomato? No, Daisy loves tomatoes. She used to steal them out of our garden. <laughs> she didn't even take that stuff to her cage. <laughs> yeah, lettuce was not a big, a big one. Don't you know that